Hello and welcome to Feast One's Eyes on Watches. This is the Bacani PD1658 and it's a business come dress watch with some interesting features. One of the things that I should point out straight away is this watch is actually an homage to a watch which is known as the La Belle Noir Milgaus. And this particular watch sells for 125,000 Swiss francs. I bought this for 50 pounds and 97 pence. There are one or two differences, but Looking at it straight away, true to Pagani design, it does look stunning. So let's have a look at this watch in some more detail. To buy this watch off Pagani, off the AliExpress site, from ordering it to being delivered to my house, took 14 days, two weeks. To order the homage of this, the La Belle Noir Milgas, there's a waiting list of three months and obviously there's a bit of a difference on the price as well. So let's see what some of the differences are with this. Well first off is that the La Belle Noir Milgas has a turbulon and what Pagani have done is they've developed their own little turbulon but it's not really a turbulon, it's just a very attractive open heart feature. But what it has as well, it has a second hand that just sweeps around and you can just see it moving around on the bottom down here. And for the price, that is really, really quite nice. One of the other lovely features about this watch is the grey dial to it. And what contrasts this dial beautifully is the raised indices. And they're in a, like a, a baton um, on the outside. So as you can see, you've got um, stainless steel baton on the outside. And then inside there, it's black. And it does look very, very attractive. The hands on the watch, that's the hour hands, are also um, finished beautifully. And they're more or less like a, a pencil shape, but you'll see running down the center of each one of those is again a black line, and it does make it very, very attractive. Another stunning feature on this is the second hand, and hopefully my camera is catching this as it moves around, because it's a lightning flash with a little arrow head on the end on it, and it does look very, very good. Now, when you look at the um, La Belle Noir Milgas, you'll see that the second hand on theirs is in black, where they, Pagani have left this in silver. And I actually like the silver on it, because it blends in so nice with everything else. Looking at the second hand in a little bit more detail, as I've mentioned before, it's in a lightning bolt shape. And as it sweeps around, you'll see right on the outer edge of the watch, there is a mini track so that you can follow the seconds. For those who've never seen a Rolex La Belle Noire watch, I've put a screenshot up to show this. So on the left hand side of your screen is the La Belle Noire and on the right hand side is the Pagani. And if you look at the faces of the two, you can see there are some distinct differences. The case on the watch is stainless steel and it's finished to a high polished standard. And I'll just turn it around to the side. You can see that the crown, it's got, we've got a signed crown on from there and some nice polishing around and about. And again, let's give this a little wipe so get any fingerprints off. And then I'll just move it around to the opposite side. The one thing that I have noticed is the case back on here, just the finish right on the edge, is just a tad little bit sharp. But 
once it sits on the wrist it, it's, it's actually quite fine it's just a shame that that wasn't rounded off a little bit but the case itself is really really nicely finished the movements inside this watch is the Hangzhou JHS29-2 the crown on the watch is a screw down crown and you turn it anti-clockwise so it will just unscrew this way what you do then is you can pull it all the way out and then you can set the hands and the time on this and as you can see as I move these around and about the second hand is still moving so this watch does not hack push it in one and then what you can do is you can wind the watch hopefully you can hear it winding up on this it is a little bit loud but it's functional to push the crown or to, to seal it the watch up again you push the crown in all the way and then just screw it back down and now the watch is back to its water resistant self I've just tested this the glass in here is sapphire crystal and the weight of this watch without taking out any links is 160 grams so I've taken out three so it's going to be a little bit lighter the dimensions of the watch are the case is 41 mil the thickness of it is 13 mil lug to lug is 49.8 mil the crown of the watch is seven mil in diameter. I've taken a pin out of the bracelet so we can have a look at the back of the watch in a little bit more detail. And the first thing is, is you can see straight through the flywheel. And again, if I just move my finger backward and forward on this, you'll be able to see it. And I'll try and get this as close as I can to the camera without losing any light. So you can have a look at that. The next thing is the balance wheel is very attractive as is the back of the watch because it's all done in gold and then it has Pagani design printed on the back. It's a screw down case and it has some information around the outside and it also states that this watch is water resistant to 100 meters and with the screw down crown I could well believe this. The bracelet has got solid end links. It's an oyster style bracelet and it's got a brushing effect just on the outside and then it's highly polished through the center. The size of the bracelet is 20 mil at the top and tapers down to 16 mil and then has a butterfly clasp. And as you can see, you have the Pagani design engraved into that part and I'll just take it around to the opposite side the end links do fit in very nicely with the watch case and there are no big steps to this the clasp on the watch is one of these butterfly ones that just opens out quite nicely and it's nicely polished and finished and there is some micro adjust just on the inside down here. And just closing this up, just click it in place, push it back over and it's locked and secured. I've just put the Bagani onto my wrist and it does look stunning. And just look at that open heart feature that Pagani are calling a turbulon. It does look really good with the little second hand beading around there and I also like the watch face in grey and I think the lightning bolt second hand looks great. The bracelet oyster style complements the watch quite nicely does the Pagani fit under the cuff well it does 
and from a dress watch point of view it does look stunning no snagging whatsoever so I would give that a pass does the Pagani fit under the cuff with cufflinks well I've chose this time some grey and black cufflinks and hopefully you'll see they complement the watch beautifully and the watch itself fits under the cuff with the cufflinks exceptionally well looks great so I've got to give that a definite pass. What can you wear with the Pagani with its grey dial and open heart feature? As this watch is classed as a business come dress watch, it would really stand out exceptionally well in, in a light grey suit. And with the striped tie in the first picture that you can see, it would look stunning. Looking at the middle picture, again in a darker grey it would again look exceptionally good and finally if you feel that you want to go a little bit more casual with this I think a jumper and jeans with this watch would look really really good to make this review as informative as I can I've included some screenshots from the Aliexpress website and I bought the watch off Pagani's official store so the first screenshot you'll see on there is of their current price now don't forget to always go onto the site and have a look and see what the current prices are and always look for sales the next couple of pictures are about the specifications and dimensions of the watch and I would recommend that if you really want to look at some of these in detail is you can just pause this um, so that way you can have a look and get a better view of everything the last three shots, they're the ones underneath, are of the back of the watch, one of the bracelet with the back of the watch, and the colour variations that you can get with this watch. To sum up my review of this watch, let's just have a little look again at a few of the features. It's got crystal glass inside, stainless steel case, a stunning grey face, raised indices that look really good, hands to match. The second hand on it is quite unique in its lightning bolt and its main feature is the open heart complication with the little second hand going around. You've got a really nice bracelet to go with this and a display case on the back and all of this cost £50.97. pence. It also comes in a nice box as well. I know this is an homage to a rather expensive watch, but can I recommend this for £50.97? Absolutely I can. And when you look at this watch on the wrist, it really does look spectacular. Thank you for watching this review. Please like and subscribe.